say? In Three? English, please. Of course. <laughs> in Dutch. Yeah. Robert, uh, you've been in the Netherlands for a couple of days now. How do you like it so far? Um, I was liking it a lot better till about a few hours ago when I didn't uh, blunder my game away. But uh, but I like it. It's my third time in Amsterdam, and it's one of my favorite cities. So I'm always happy to be here. Okay, but what made you come in the first place? Chess, <laughs> as always. Isn't that isn't that the the only reason? No. no. Um, Are you a chess professional? I used to be. Um, afterwards, I started uh, the university about four years ago. I just graduated, and now I'm uh, I'm pondering if uh, I should return as a chess professional or maybe study some more. Uh, when I'm well informed, you have two and a half out of three. Uh, any uh, aspirations for making a GM home? Always. Uh, yes. Um, do you need Do you need a couple? Do you need one? I have two GM norms so far, and I have already reached 2,500. Uh, ELO, so I just need one more norm. Uh, just just a norm? Yep. Okay, but uh, your ambitions are probably to get the 2500 anyway. I mean, that seems incidental. I would just be happy to get a norm and uh, stay at 2100 the rest of my life if I'm a Grandmaster. Uh, that's not so bad. Okay. Uh, after this tournament, uh, will you stay in Europe or do you go back to the States right away? No, no, I have two more tournaments lined up. Uh, I'm going to be playing Beal. And then uh, Barcelona in in August, so I have that to look forward to. Okay, thank you very much. Wait, you're not going to ask me about my game? It was an interesting game. Uh, well, I sort of figured <laughs> you were unhappy about it, so. No, no, no. I mean, I'm unhappy about the result because I was winning, but it's a very interesting end game. Yeah, Robert, tell me about the game of today. Yeah, uh, uh, I saw you played Afec, well, and now. it was like a study. Study like ending. Well, now I don't want to talk about it. Why not? No, I'm just kidding. You're uh, just playing hard to get, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was actually a very interesting end game. I was down uh, two pawns in a king and pawn end game, and I'm still completely winning, which I thought was interesting because that doesn't usually happen. Okay, but you're sort of uh, isolated double pawns and, and. Yes, but I have this active king and I have this uh, pawn majority on the, the king side. And uh, it's very strange, but I'm actually winning. And I, I missed one subtle move, and then it was a draw. And you're absolutely sure about that? You already checked it with uh, the engines, or...? No. You don't need to. <laughs> no, it, my intuition tells me I should be completely winning. Uh, did you analyze it with uh, Jochenon, because he is a, a renowned endgame artist? I heard, I heard he composes a lot of endgames and, uh, and that sort of stuff. But now, uh, after about... How long did we play? Five and a half hours? Yeah. We sort just of. left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you might discuss it uh, at some other time with him. Um, is this one of your most interesting endings ever, then? Probably. It would have been more interesting if I won. Uh, but definitely it's, it's up there. And, and, and so far it looks that there was only one way to win it. Yeah, I have to play g5 instead of king d2. And uh, it should be winning. Okay. Well, could we talked about it. Thank you. Oh, thank you for asking. <laughs> Did you throw the...